Hi, my name is Wendy Reed and we're going to expand on parallel lines by solving equations involving parallel lines and transversals. So you see here we have a, a particular problem already set up and we want, we want to find the measure of angle CBD. CBD is right here and it's represented by the expression 2x plus 4. You also have another expression down here for this particular angle and its um, expression is 3x minus 6. So first we have to think about what type of angles these are. Okay, if you look at this angle pair, okay, we have five different types, alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, same side exterior, and corresponding. So we have to decide what type of those are. They're exterior, okay, they're both exterior, and they alternate around the, the transversal, the line in the middle, so they are alternate exterior angles. And we learned in our one video that um, alternate interior, oh, sorry, alternate exterior angles are congruent as long as your lines are parallel. As you can see, the lines are parallel. That means these angles are congruent, so we can just set the equations or the expressions equal to each other. So what we get is this expression, 3x minus 6, is equal to this expression, 2x plus 4. Now we've got an equation we can actually solve. Got to get rid of 1x, so we subtract the 2x from both sides. <coughs> And you get x minus 6 is equal to 4. Almost done. You need to get rid of the 6. So we add 6 to both sides. And we get x is equal to 10. Now, x is 10, but I'm not finished with the problem because the problem asked me to find the measure of angle CBD. So what I have to do is I take my x and I plug it back in. CBD is represented by 2x plus 4. I know my x is 10, so I simply plug it in. 2 times 10 plus 4, okay? 2 times 10 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24, so I get 24. But to represent it correctly, the measure of angle CBD is equal to 24 degrees, and that's how we represent it. Let's do one more problem. I'm going to change this up just a little bit. We're still going to find the measure of angle CDD one more time. But as you can see, I moved my expression over here, so it's a little bit different, and this, the expression is different as well. Again, CBD is represented by 2x plus 4. Now, GEF is represented by 3x plus 6. Let's actually find both angles. So we'll find the measure of angle CBD and the measure of angle GEF. All right, now, first we have to determine what type of angles they are. They're both exterior and they're on the same side of the transversal, so they're same side exterior angles. Now remember from our last video, same side exterior angles are not congruent, but supplementary when the lines are parallel. So these are supplementary. Supplementary means they add to be 180. So instead of setting them equal to each other, we're going to add them together and set them equal to 180 degrees. So we take our expressions, 2x plus 4, add them together, plus 3x plus 6 has to equal 180 degrees. So this plus this equals 180. Now we've got an equation we can solve. Now this time the x's are on the same side of the equal sign, so we have to combine like terms. We got a 2x and a 3x. 2 plus 3 is 5. That's 5x. We're done with those. Now we've got a 4 and we've got a 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. So plus 10, if we're done with those, equals 180. Now we've got a much simpler equation after we combine like terms. Subtract 10 from both sides. You get 5x is equal to 170. Divide by 5 to solve for x. I would usually use a calculator at this point, but we can do it using division. How many times does 5 go into 170? 5 goes into 17 three times. 
Five times three is fifteen. I'll put fifteen down here. Then I subtract. I get a two. Bring down my zero. We need to find out how many times is five going to twenty. Five goes into twenty four times. Five times four is twenty. So we get a zero. So no remainder. So my answer is thirty four. So x is equal to thirty four. Now, again, we're not done with the problem because we haven't answered the question yet. It says find the measure of angle CBD and the measure of angle GEF. So we have to plug them back in. We take our CBD, that would be 2 times my x is 34 plus 4. And um, I'll come back to the other one in a minute. So 34 times 2, you can just multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6, so we get 68, so that's 68 plus 4, which is going to give you 72 degrees. So that's the measure of angle CBD. Okay, plug it into the other one, it would be 3 times 34 plus 6, again we need to multiply. 34 times 3, that's 12, carry the 1, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So that's 102. So 102 plus 6 is 108 degrees. And that's the measure of angle G, E, F. Now there's an easy way to check yourself to make sure you're correct, okay? We know that they're supplementary, which means they have to add to be 180, right? So if you add these two things together, 72 plus 108, do you get 180? And the answer is yes, you do. So they are supplementary, your answer does make sense. And that's solving equations involving parallel lines and transversions.